On Wednesday morning, 25-year-old Lissandra Martinez, a father of one, left his home in Guinea Grass Village and spoke to his common-law wife, 27-year-old Abigail Bologna, for the last time. He left home yesterday, like around 5 o'clock. We made a go towards his uncle and when he say uncle car to go, he run gun. Now catch up on the next side. Then the last time I see him, in the night he tell me he loved me, you know, I left me alone. Would you think that would have been the last time you saw him? No, I never think. Because he got happy. Martinez was to return home to his family today. Unfortunately, he will be doing so later this week, but inside of a casket. Around 6 o'clock last night, Martinez and an 18-year-old friend who did not want to be identified hopped on a motorcycle and went to a supermarket for groceries near mile 19 on the Philip Goldson Highway. It was a normal evening for us and uh, we didn't expect nothing to happen like this. Uh, on the way there, we were talking about his lives and stuff like that, but then we entered the shop and um, bought what we had to buy and like, like two minutes and then we head back home. And then when I saw like a black in color car uh, following us, but I didn't thought it was like gonna happen this, right? Because two cars had already passed us, so I said, it's a normal overtaking is gonna happen. But then all of a sudden, the, then the car came closer and closer. And then after that, I took the third, I, I look at the car the third time. And um, then when I started to hear the, the shots fired. And then I just bowed my head and started to sped off to try to avoid him and try to save the guy's life because he was already shot. Martinez's friend says he then rushed home and with the help of some other men, immediately placed Martinez in the back of a pickup truck and attempted to rush him to the hospital. I asked him if he had any problems with anybody here at Sun Hill. Then he said no. He denied three times. And um, so I believe him, you know, so, because he's not from here. Mm -hmm. That's why I believe him. And um, then while on the road, he didn't speak to us at all. He just said his last word that he he can't make it anymore. He he can't see. Martinez reportedly took his last breath while the group neared the Ladyville and was pronounced dead on arrival at the Carl Huchner Memorial Hospital. His common-law wife was then informed by Martinez's uncle, and she says up to now, his death still feels unreal. I'm going to play a joke with me. How did you find out? Okay, I find out because my uncle called and told me how he is. He gets shot and he done dead. I still can't believe it that we did. According to Bologna, on Sunday night, Martinez agreed to go to the village to work, but he was hesitant because he allegedly had issues with a relative from the area. So his uncle asked him if he could go help him, him haul him logs him for, for bringing it back in the grass. So he told her yes. And then him, he told her to make it on and the, next, the following day, which I made yesterday. And that's how he come and when him, when he, that's why he gone over there, but he never want to go because he, he had problem with one of his uncle up there. And when for his um, um, he tell his uncle, I, I don't want to go is, is because I have problem up there. And then I know what, we have problem because we're a family, is, is, is tell her. But then after he said, no, we not, they don't have problem because we're there in our different place. Then in the night, well, he then just call away until he, he gets shot. His family says they don't have a clue why anyone would have wanted Martinez dead. His mother Estelita described him as a loving son, who she will miss very much. From what has happened to him, like any other mother, I can say that it hurts. But I always say, there is a God that sees everything and knows everything. One day, God will bring the person who killed my son to justice. I don't want to cry. I have already cried a lot and I know I have a lot more to cry. All I ask is that God delivers justice. For me, who is his mother, I can say that he loved me a lot. He showed me his love and I can't say. I understand that he used to drink and he used to be on the streets. But let me say this, if I am walking on the street and no one does me anything, I can't do anything to anyone. But if they find me, I won't let myself for someone to hurt me. I always tell my children that. Martinez's family says they will be leaving justice to the Lord. But are left wondering why. The only thing I would want to know why he do it. Because he never have no problem up there. And 
everything was staying in God's hand. Vijay Alvarez, Love News.